Shocker. The Canada Post is still on strike. Who saw that coming? <laughs> Definitely me, because there's a lot of talks that this isn't going to get resolved until January, and it's starting to become obvious at this point that this is contentious, and this could change the Canada Post forever, and it looks like it may actually be the case, based on not just the articles that I've been researching, but also the fact that we are in four weeks now, and Christmas is right around the corner, and we have a ton of content. We have some articles, and we also have a lot of comments that I'm going to get to that you guys left on my last video. Thank you again for sharing those comments. If you want your comments to be read in the next Canada Post videos, as long as the strike's going on, leave that comment down below and I'll read it. Share your thoughts, vent, whatever. Just get it off your chest. I will read those comments, and it'll be kind of like a therapy session for you guys. Canada Post Union and Management Trade Blame Over Failed Negotiations Shocker here. Over the weekend, hopes for the end of the Canada Post strike briefly surfaced, only to be dashed by Monday afternoon as the union and management dug in, exchanging sharp accusations of bad faith bargaining. In a memo to its 55,000 members, the Canadian Union of Postal Workers, CUPW, criticized Canada Post's previous offers and said it had presented a broad new contract proposal during face-to-face -face talks earlier that day. We have waited far too long for Canada Post to bargain in good faith. True progress requires meaningful engagement, not service-level proposals or new demands that derail progress, the memo read. Now, the union accused of management of undermining worker safety and called for serious consideration of its proposals, adding, none of us want to be in the picket line, but we cannot continue with management steamrolling workers with random ideas to change work rules. In response, Canada Post issued a press release condemning the union's latest proposals, claiming it introduced major steps backwards in the negotiations. So they're going backwards now. We're not moving forward at all at this point, which is why I'm saying this could go on even into January. Canada Post is extremely disappointed that Cup W's intent appears to widen the gap rather than close it, the Crown Corporation said. It warned that the ongoing strike is accelerating its financial troubles with 2024 expected to mark its seventh consecutive year of losses. Seven, seventh year of losses. So that dates all the way back to 2017. So it's even before the pandemic. I would say if it goes back to the pandemic, that would make sense. You know, a lot of businesses were struggling during that time, but it's going back even further than that. Let's take a look at this article here by CTV. Canada Post continues as Canada Post strike continues as sides clash on wages. Okay, let's read this article. This one looks to be very juicy. Negotiations between Canada Post and the union representing its workers appear to be in a deadlock as the two sides remain far apart on wages and other issues. On Monday, the union unveiled its latest wage proposal an increase of 19% over four years, dropping its previous demands of 24%. So they've dropped the demands and there's still no signs of getting this deal done and getting it back to work. Canada Post has offered wage hikes of 11.5% over four years, reads a release from the company sent to media on Wednesday. Your negotiators are working hard to get an agreement members can ratify. Read a release from the union to members describing its latest demands. We need Canada Post to meet us there. The strike is nearing its fourth week. I think we're pretty much in our fourth week at this point. Some 55,000 workers are off the job. The effects are wide ranging. The Salvation Army of Canada says that holiday donations are down 50%. And I've actually talked about this in a video, I think it was two or three videos back. Uh, Service Canada says new passports requested by mail will be sent when the strike ends and millions of packages deliveries have been halted. In addition to the wage hike, the union is asking for a cost of living allowance, 17 total medical days, an increase of 10. So they're going from seven to 10. That is a, a steep jump. Yeah. I could see why it's going to get contentious here. An increase to short-term disability payments to 80% of regular wages and improved rights for temporary workers. The union has also demanded better job security for urban workers, including a provision to outlaw contracts from workers outside the union. It also wants to limit part-time schedules to 20 hours per week, among other provisions. That, now I do agree that, yeah, if you're, if you're hired, you should get at least a minimum amount of hours because it does feel crappy. It kind of forces you to take on multiple jobs, which is not, I mean, a lot of people have to do that, but uh, you know, when you're getting hired for a company that's supposed to be like this prestigious, you know, company to work for, it's supposed to be unionized and all these other great things. And then you come to it and you're like, oh, okay. So like I have to get like another job 
on the side or two even maybe even be an uber driver on the side work at mcdonald's you know there's a lot of things you could be doing to supplement your income in that situation but uh, obviously you would rather just have one job let's be honest it's just easier in general easier to manage uh less uh, less t4s coming in at you right easier to your taxes here we go uh with some comments that you guys left here we go canada post better never come to my house again it's not safe for them Canada Post runs the business, not the union. It's up to Canada Post to decide if it needs to hire part-time workers, not the union. If the union can't understand this, it's time to disband them and make Canada Post a non-union operation. Cup W does not know how to read the room. They knew it wasn't me doing my route. How did they know? Too many people got their mail. Workers should be forced to take the 11% raise, seeing they already make 20 to 30 an hour. If not, they should have to resign from Canada Post and work elsewhere. Enough is enough. They obviously won't agree. They are demanding, not negotiating. So obviously a lot of people are pretty upset and I'm hoping that I can get a few comments, get to a few comments that are maybe more pro-union, uh, just to get uh, two sides of the argument here. Maybe the government should return the post office and privatize. This BS always happens around Christmas. This is not the first time. It is a failure on every aspect. Government have no choice but to intervene to stop this clown show. Sadly, it looks like it's being political. Expect layoffs after the strike. I don't see any comments in support of Canada Post and the union. Maybe it is time to get rid of both of them. And this is what I was saying earlier when I was getting to some of these comments in uh, videos about a week ago or so. Uh, we were getting a lot more pro-union comments, but I feel like... Um, as the strike is going on, it's getting more contentious and it's getting people to be more on the side of Canada Post. Not even really the side of Canada Post. I don't want to say that because I think people can understand that Canada Post uh, is also to blame in this situation. It's like you have two sides that just will not meet in the middle and it looks to be as contentious as ever with it nearing its fourth week. They could have negotiated this in the summer and around the school start season. They deliberately held Canadian holidays a ransom for their demands, very unpatriotic to Canada. Instead of everyone pitching in, it's screw Canadians and the nation because I'm gonna get mine. It undermines their legitimate position. Now, as you can see, uh, comments are pretty contentious and there's a lot of heat here and a lot of anger directed towards Canada Post, specifically the Canadian Post workers. But let me know your thoughts about this video down below. And again, leave your comments here if you want them read in the next video and i'm sure there's going to be another video because i don't think the strike's ending tomorrow i mean i hope it does but i just don't see it happening i think it's going to go on till past christmas but if you think otherwise let me know as well in the comment section anyways guys hope you enjoyed today's video if you did leave a like down below subscribe if you are new to the channel i will see you in the next one take care